Hello, greetings from Budari TV. In today's history topic, we will see one body, two lives. Two girls who were born with just one body and were conjoined with two heads. What's their life story? Let's watch ahead. These two girls are twin sisters who are conjoined. The twins have a single body with separate heads and necks. They were born on 7th March 1990 in Minnesota, USA. The one on the right is Abigail and the left one is Brittany. What's their life story? Let me share with you. When Abigail and Brittany's mom was pregnant, the doctors were not able to detect in the scans that she was carrying twins. During her labor, the doctors were pulling the baby out. That's when they realized that there's another head. There was chaos among the doctors and the mom was just seeing all this. When the parents got to see the baby, they were shocked. Yet, they instantly fell in love with their newborn babies. In many cases, conjoined twins are either stillborn or they die within 24 hours after birth. But these girls survived. Upon their birth, the doctors said that it was unlikely that both would survive the operation to separate them. Hence, their parents decided not to attempt surgical separation. How are these girls conjoined? Take a look. Both the girls have a separate heart, stomach, pair of lungs and spinal cord. But when they were born at birth, they had a third arm between the bases of their necks attached to a shoulder blade at the back. The doctors operated and removed it later as that arm was not useful for any bodily function. Each one on either sides of their body and the extra arm was surgically removed. Each twin controls one arm or manages one side of their conjoined body. As infants, learning to crawl, walk and clap required cooperation and they both learned it well. The sense of touch of each is restricted to each one's body half. They both went to school conjoined like this and also tried to live a normal life just like anybody else. They can eat and they can also write separately or even simultaneously. Either ways they are capable. At the age of 12, they had to undergo a surgery to expand their chest cavity. Why? This was done in order to prevent future difficulties with breathing as the chest cavity was not big enough to hold each of their organs. As they grew up, the girls learned to do various tasks together in a coordinated manner. They could run, ride a bicycle, brush hair, type on the computer keyboard, everything together. They even went on to complete their graduation in 2012. What are they currently doing? Take a look. Today, both the girls, Abigail and Brittany, are working as teachers in a school. Life has not been easy for them, but they did not give up. They used to be stared by people whenever they went out. But because of that, they never lost courage. They were even secretly photographed by strangers while going out and yet they were strong. Both the girls even got training and learned driving. Each girl controls the devices 
on their side of the vehicle in a coordinated manner. Together, they control the steering wheel. If they have to travel anywhere, they have two individual passports. But just one ticket is booked as they take up only one seat on the aeroplane. They both are two different personalities. What one likes, maybe the other doesn't. And yet, they both are a perfect example of coordination and unity. Look at them. If you think life is too difficult for you, then just empathize and think about how these girls have endured all these years. Their life story is motivating us to reach our goals.